Mecca Silele is the program that I co-founded with my collaborator, Juliet Wanyiri. And the we actually started running these workshops and targeting girls in high school because trying to get them into STEM careers. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of like mentorship programs for young girls and it, STEM careers are considered to be like a boys club. And so by running workshops on human-centered design, we were trying to get them to think that they could be innovators, that they could be the people who, you know, can be the next Bill Gates or something. And so with with these workshops, um, it really opened up their minds. And these girls were really excited about the type of work that they were doing. And the point, some of them would come up to me and they're like, oh, I didn't know this is what engineers were doing. I'm like, yes. Like yeah, like it's it's not what's out there. You and yourself, you could you can be an engineer with Mekatilili. That's how it started working with young girls, and we're able now to diversify into universities, working with young makers to now get them thinking about what to do next once they graduate from university. The name Mekatilili is a name of a person who is actually Kenyan. And she, earlier during British colonial time, when the British came and invaded Kenya, she was one of the people who stood up in her tribe and was able to basically like chase them away from her community. Um, And in that, obviously, as a woman, it was such a shock. And we don't necessarily um, praise our heroines. And so I felt using her name uh, was the right fit for the program because she was bold, she was courageous, she was audacious. And that's what I feel are represent the characteristics of the people who I feel go into the program. It's going against the grain. Um, and yeah, Mikatilili is like a symbol of of a heroine in Kenya, but it's not really praised. And I'm like, if we have companies like Tesla and and whatnot, I'm like, why can't we have a, a Mekatilili?